We're at Martinez Supermercado in Bridgeport, and buried in the belly of this market is a meat lover's burrito I can't wait to bury in my belly. So Rudy, tell us a little bit about the place. My dad was making chorizo back in his house. He was selling it a lot. So we opened up a small store. We're always packed in there, so we decided to go a little bigger, and then the chorizo just like blew up. Guys are still cavemen. We gotta have the meat. I'm not a veggie person. I want the meat, I want the flavor. The meat is so tender and so juicy. Lettuce, tomato, veggies, they're okay, but gotta have a meat. So we got a, a suggestion on our app from Julio, and he said you guys are doing monster burritos. And it's lit. We got a burrito, it's like a seven pound burrito. That's like three tortillas put together. Seven pound it's burrito. Like seven pound burrito, that's what all the ingredients are. Stop the episode. Okay. We're done. This is the only place we need to come for five segments. I mean, this is this is a meat lovers episode, but that's some serious love for the meat right there. Have you got something a little bit smaller that maybe I can handle by myself? Oh, wow. That three pound. Oh, that's yeah, easy. Yeah. Just the three pound burrito. That sounds good for me. That's yeah. like fun size. Oh, yeah. I'm ready for the meat, my friend. Should we go make some chorizo? Let's do this. Okay. Rudy starts with a 40 pound blend of pork butt and Mexican chilies, but this is our meat lovers episode. Let's kick it up a notch. This is clearly not all the chorizo you use when oh, you're talking about three pound, seven pound burritos. Not at all, they'll be gone in 10 minutes. So how much chorizo do you normally make a week? About 350 pounds. All right, can we can we add this to the other stuff you of got there? Of course. Then? It's time for me to get dirty. Oh, here's to everyone at school ever said not to play with my food. Yeah! Screw you guys. All right. How much long does this take to mix? You got 40 minutes to go. Yeah, probably not. Let's build a burrito. This is our finished chorizo. And that's a perfect amount for one burrito. I've always said that. Okay, so now you get the cheese, then you put the chorizo in there. Holy that's one scoop. We got a couple more. Beans. Onions and cilantro, lettuce, and four tomatoes. Now sour cream, and then top it off with cheese. Someone call a doctor, we just had a baby. <laughs> Have you tried to tackle one of the three pound burritos? I think I'm too small. What was your first impression the first time you saw that beast? I'm not gonna finish this. <laughs> Can you eat a whole one? Just one, that's it. Do you take a little nap afterwards? Oh, I take about three hour nap afterwards. Every pound is an hour of nap time, okay? This is ridiculous. You can come here with a buddy, honestly, and share one. <laughs> I like the fact you don't do a machine because it still has that like, coarse texture to it. Exactly. You taste every individual part of that blend. I was intimidated by the size of your burrito. There is nothing stopping me from eating all that. Three pound chorizo heaven right there, my friends. Why are you Chicago's best for meat lovers? It's just, you know, how we do the meat, authentic way, the Mexican way, how it's supposed to be. Simply put, they're not meat lovers. They're obsessed. Get your pork butt down here. Feast on this. Maybe this guy will wheel you out when you're taking a nap on his floor. 